my name is Naomi Reed. My birth date is October 23rd, 2007. And my Kwanzaa principle for that date is Umoja, which means unity. What unity means to me is to be able to work together and achieve your goal or task. The story I'll be telling you is called White Socks Only. Yeah. Grandma, can I put the town by myself? I said one hot summer day. I knew what she was going to say. Girl, you can't go to no town by yourself. You ain't old enough to go to no town unless you go and do some good. I plopped down on the step beside her. She was about to begin her story. But not just any story, my favorite story. Girl, you know, I went to town by myself one time, all alone. Wasn't planning on doing no good, though. Had two eggs hid in my pockets, just waiting for a scorching hot summer day to see if what folks said was true. You know, I thought I was mighty grown up, skipping down the sidewalk singing, jump back Sally Sally, right down the alley alley, to no one but myself. I was feeling pretty good, until I saw him. The old chicken man was sitting on his porch. Mama told me about that chicken man, that he could heal the sick by laying on his hands, and that he made a blind man see just by looking deep into his eyes, and that he could turn people into chickens if he thought they weren't doing right. <laughs> I was kind of scared. He was going to think I wasn't doing right, so I started walking faster. Still had my hands up steady on the count of the eggs, though. When I got to town, my mouth dropped open, seeing all the white ladies in them fancy hats, until I saw her. Mama's friend, Miss Nancy. She told Mama everything, and I was sure I was gonna be in trouble if she saw me. So I rushed and hid behind a tree until I saw a leaf out of eyesight. But in my rush, I had cracked one of the eggs in my pocket, and it was slinking down my dressing leg. I thought I better do what I came to do and get home. I walked up to a statue with a man up on a horse. There was a building behind it with a sign that said, Cole County Courthouse, Mississippi. I walked up to the statue, cracked my last egg on the horse's leg one time, and watched the yolk slink to the ground. I sat there a long time. And then I saw it. The white outside started to creep in, and the yellow started to bubble. While I was frying an egg on the sidewalk, I started dancing and prancing. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it was true. What folks said was true. And now it's time to go home. So I started walking. But it was real hot, and I was mighty thirsty. So I walked up to a water fountain with a little sign that said, Whites Only. Well, I knew what that meant, so I bent down, took off my shoes, and began to drink. I was slurping up that water mighty fast when the big white man with a black and white bandana grabbed my shoulder and pushed me to the ground. Then he started yelling, Girl, can't you read? Well, I'm going to whip you too. You can't sit down. He started fumbling and tugging on his belt. I didn't know what I did wrong. I was wearing my white socks. <laughs> then, more white people started coming around. Seeing all the people made me scared, and I started crying louder. But then, an old black woman from my church stepped through the crowd, took off her shoes, and began to drink from the fountain. <laughs> I was sure the white man was going to yell at her. And he did. Well, I'm gonna have to whoop you too, and I. He had already had his belt off. But then more black people I knew started coming out, taking off their shoes, and drinking from the fountain. They had on red socks, yellow socks, green socks, and blue socks. By then, the white man had his belt up in the air and was hitting everybody that was close, including me. I was down on the ground with my hands over my head, just like everybody else. But then it got real quiet. I peeked through my hands and I saw him, the old chicken man. 
was coming through and he was walking towards me. When he got there, he looked me from my little hands to my tiny socks and then at the white man. Then he bent down, took off his shoes, and began to drink from the fountain. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> then he stood up, smiled, and stepped off the stool. He pointed a crooked finger at that white man, then helped me up. There, there, child, you did all right. He passed me a handkerchief, then just hobbled away. All the black people started coming up to me, crying and hugging. Then they took me home. When they told my mama what had happened, she busted out laughing. <laughs> well, I guess you can go to town by yourself, because you're old enough to do some good. Nobody ever saw that white man that had whipped us. Nor did we dare ask about that big chicken flapping around the court house fountain. <laughs> the white only sign was gone for good. The end. Uh -huh. <laughs>